I started off doing graffiti by the name of uh, Wayad. At first it was most finding places to paint freight. So I would travel to Mexico all the time because it was easy to paint freight there and then all of a sudden I ended up staying there for a few months. Mexico City is, I think, it's on top with every other city as far as with art and music and everything else that's happening. Now what I do is more, I, I can relate it more to, I still wanted to have the same elements that, that I learned how to use, which is outline, fills, everything that graffiti has taught me. After you do it for so long, it turns into something that's you. And I knew that, so when I started doing other than graffiti, I didn't just want to do characters, I didn't want to do people, I didn't want to do that. I wanted, I wanted to find something that I could adapt to walls and I can adapt to whatever I was going to paint. I wouldn't consider myself a graffiti artist anymore. The thing when you actually admit the fact that, look, I'm not, this person anymore, it takes a lot of heat away from you. And I respect the people that are doing it and, and hopefully they also understand that, you know, time moves on and all the people really don't have the same feel as they have right now. So I leave that to the people that want to call themselves graffiti writers. I think when it's time for you to let it go, you just gotta let it go. My name is uh, Daniel Angelou and I'm a painter. <laughs>